We're gonna play a little bit of a game, okay? Diesel Dave and myself, we're gonna buy one pallet each. We're gonna blindfold ourselves. We only have 24 hours to sell everything in our pallet, okay? Whoever makes the most amount of money on their pallet has to give that money to the other guy. Oh, okay, all right. Yep. Hey, you, uh, you got any of those uh, pallet auctions? <laughs> <laughs> you got a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a... Basically, last time, do you guys know that we came in here and we bought a, we came over in 100 lot. pallets? It was a lot. So basically what happened was we went crazy. You guys saw the video, and uh, since then we've made some decent money on it. But we wanted to show you guys the real side of this. Well, not the real, but like the more everyday, like the more relatable side. Something that, so after we posted the video, apparently a ton of you guys signed up and you came and bought pallets, which is awesome. Thank you for supporting uh, these yeah, idiots. Yeah, thank you, um, <laughs> but with that said, we've got an idea kind of dreamed up here. So remember how last time we came in here and we walked around, looked around? Well, first of all, that was just overwhelming. It didn't help me at all. And I don't think I bought half the pallets that I thought were cool. I ended up just, when you're online and things are bidding, it's just kind of chaos. So what we're gonna do today is Diesel Dave and myself are gonna buy one pallet each because this represents like what you guys could actually do. So what I need you guys to do yeah. is not let us back there. No, no previewing. You guys don't get any special yeah, privileges. Yeah. We're gonna blindfold oh. ourselves. <laughs> you got a blindfold? You beanie? I gave it to me because that was the whole part of the plan. Oh man! Can you blindfold yourself? I can pull beard. my hood over my eyes. You're gonna have, oh, what that about actually your, was, what about your great. Beard? Yeah, I can pull, pull my your beard up and then your hood over. <laughs> You're you terrifying. <laughs> The better? Yeah. No, I hate that look. That's fine. So, guys, that's the plan. Basically, here's the, here's the deal. We're gonna play a little bit of a game, okay? We're gonna um, we are gonna walk back in the warehouse, but we're not gonna be able to see a damn thing. We're just gonna be able to go by touch and feel, kind of like this. And then ultimately, we're gonna find a pallet each that we want to buy. Now, here's the kicker: no matter what the price is on that pallet, we end up we have to be the high bidder. Oh. So the so plan is we're gonna be able to look, no. or we're gonna be able to touch and feel. We'll be able to get to the pallet and I'm gonna say. This is the one, I feel like this is it. We can pull the blindfold off, and for five seconds, we can look at the, at the pallet. Can't touch it, we're not gonna be able to go through it. So this is no different than you guys online. So this is more in line with what you guys will have the opportunity to do. The goal is to help teach you guys the side hustle of pallet auctions, because my brother-in-law apparently came in here right after uh, we bought a bunch of stuff, and he bought one or two pallets, and he did well, he made a bunch of cash. Basically, the risk that we have is, if we land on a pallet based off of how it feels, and we think it's the right one, and we end up overpaying for it, uh, here's the next part. We only have 24 hours to sell everything in our pallet, okay? So, from, yeah, so from the day, Oh, well hello there. Tis I, Lord Diesel Dave. My young squire here is capturing my lordliness. Yes, I recently became a lord when I purchased a one square foot of land in Scotland through established titles. You may be saying, ha, that doesn't make you a lord, Diesel Dave. Well, ha! Say that to my official certificate from established titles with the crest saying, this is your official certificate of lordship. And on my official certificate, I even have an exact plot location so that I may go to Scotland and visit my land at any time. Yes, established titles is helping men and women become lords and ladies around the world. And when you do, the best part is, every time someone becomes a lord, established titles, plants a tree somewhere in this world, keeping the world beautiful for all the lordlings and ladylings to come. You know what else is nice? You can give the gift of becoming a lord or a lady. I recently went to a wedding of my young friend. Him and his bride-to-be would have just simply been Mr. and Mrs. Van Tusen Nutsen. But now they shall forever be Lord and Lady Van Tusen Nutsen. Also, now that I'm a Lord, I can officially change my title on documents such as plane tickets, credit cards, or any document that needs a prefix. The gift of Lordship and Ladyship can be given by all through established titles. You may become a Lord, you may help your friend become a lord through established titles. And by using promo code HEAVYDSPARKS, 
you can get 10% off your lordship. Pretty nice, right? How's it going, young squire? It's nearly finished. Nearly finished? Let me see. Ooh, most excellent. Go to EstablishedTitles.com and become a lord or lady today. From the time we pick it up right after the sale, we have 24 hours. We're not gonna know what's in it, and then we're gonna see who ends up making the most money. And the best part is, whatever we can't sell, we're gonna donate, okay? Nice. So with that said, uh, we're gonna be going to pawn shops, we're gonna be going to the internet, we're gonna be going to the street corners trying to sell the stuff, trying to hustle it. So, how's that sound? That, that sounds, sounds great. great. That's exciting. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's, here's where the stakes get high. Whoever makes the most amount of money on their pallet has to give that money to the other guy. Oh, oh okay, all right. Deal. How about that? I like that. Oh. All right, guys. Well, Dave and Dave are out in the lobby. Alec and I, the bad boy and I, we're gonna do a little sneak peek preview. Oh. Light up scooter. This lady, I mean, oof. Hey, it's grilling season. See? Perfectly good grill. <laughs> Would you like to be Dave blindfolded and just trying to make out what this is? That'd be a little freaky for me, not gonna lie. Look at that. All right, detailing stuff, puzzles, brand new trash cans, mat, another TV, hula hoop, seat belt pads. Look at that. You get yourself a new Craftsman lawnmower. Gotcha. Wheelchair. Snuggy. Listen, a lot of good stuff here. A lot of good stuff. I feel like I feel like every box we looked at so far, you can't go wrong. So. Oh, don't worry. Oh, these old things. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, these old things, these old boxers, boxing gloves. So while we uh, blindfold up here, and remember, we're not getting any hints, advice, we're not getting, like, this is intended to be a fun game where we take all the risk and you guys get the entertainment out of it. And you also get a little bit of education because we're trying to show you guys the side hustle. Remember, there's a link in the description below to sign up for the auction. This is honestly, even if it's not just good business, it's just fun. Like, it's just a lot of fun. So, you ready? <laughs> That's you. I hate what's happening right now. now. Stop touching me because I don't know what you. Come back. <laughs> you are in the warehouse. Just start feeling around. It feels a lot like furniture boxes. <laughs> what about this Ooh. item? Here's some twine. <laughs> Weed whacker string. <laughs> Weed whacker string. Is it? What do you think that is? That's a dumb decorative pillow or something my wife would buy. <laughs> yeah, spot on. Oh, is it? <laughs> That's on. pretty spot on. Okay, Sparks, next item. <laughs> yep, yep, right there. Fertilizer spreader. Fertilizer spreader? Yeah. Close. Nailed it. <laughs> was that it? Uh, yep, it was fertilizer spreader. Yeah. Flag or a skirt? That's a car. That's a steering wheel. Nice. Maybe a Jeep? <laughs> yeah. Hey, he nailed it. Yeah. The fertilizer spreader was the Jeep? Yeah, it was a toy Jeep. Right. But I guess right. You know I can't see you, right? That's oh, toy you guys know I had, where are you, Alec? I'm right in front of you. Oh. So last time, we had an opportunity to come in here and preview stuff, right? And we, we checked around. Uh, I really honestly don't think I ended up buying that many pallets that I thought that were cool just because we got too overwhelmed and excited when we were bidding. So today, I'm gonna take my time, be strategic, and it's a hard decision because obviously you would think that I want power tools and that kind of big, heavy stuff, but I found that in some of the more random boxes, like this feels like a, see this is, this is cardboard, right? Not metal. The, the metal ones have cool stuff, but it's also stuff that, I don't know. I don't know if it's always the same value as a box like this. Like the, if there's a pair of like Air Jordans or Yeezys, I found that in the previous boxes that we sold, some of these boxes ended up having more valuable items. The clothing, turns out, there's a lot of value in the clothing. eBay, that's hot, but the problem is I only have 24 hours to sell it. So I have to keep in mind that even if I find a box that has really cool stuff that 
like maybe kind of unique or rare or hard to sell, then I stuck with stuff and that just kind of sucks. So basically, I'm looking for the most well-rounded palette in here. That's kind of what I'm getting at. See, these ones also, when there's a lot of saran wrap, tells me that there's a lot of furniture or something. I did well on the furniture last time, on some of it anyways. See, when it's just boxes, it's so hard. Mm. Oh, that's probably a two and a half, maybe, th no, that's a three, five, that's a five pounder if it's an ounce. Or it could be a steering wheel for a Barbie car. Try is gonna be, pick items up, hold it close. If it speaks to you, it's probably valuable. Or I'm gonna want it. This is all using the sixth sense. You can't see it. I can't smell it because it's tied so tight around my, my nose. I barely hear it. I've really eliminated just about every one of my senses except for touch and my heart. My heart's gonna tell me what's valuable. Good luck, me. You were just, that's the same palette you were just looking in. <laughs> you're not, now you're not looking at any palette. That's a nice blanket. That's taller than a regular pallet, which means in some of those pallets last time we found trampolines, garden patio, like furniture, and that stuff sold pretty well, to be honest with you. 24 hours is, this is so damn hard. 24 hours is not enough time to sell this stuff. Okay, see, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff we did well on last time. Want to say that's a leaf blower? Yep, it's a leaf blower. <laughs> the worst part about this is, I have no idea where the good stuff was that I was just touching. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I would guess that this is maybe a um, perfectly rectangle box. I have no idea what I'm looking at there. Is what? Is that a mannequin? <laughs> would you like to be Dave blindfolded and just trying to make out what this is? No. Oh, it must be a mannequin. It's like a, it's like a, it's a weird squishy one. Yeah, it's kind of a, kind of a weird feeling mannequin. Just slap it. <laughs> Ooh, flip flop. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, an officer. <laughs> Guys, I'm kind of liking the variety of this palette. There's a, there's a good blend of big boxes, little boxes, and honestly, my beard is is bugging me so bad with the stupid blindfold on that I'm just gonna go for. This is my guy, I think. Pat. Yep. Hold on. Can I turn my camera off then? <laughs> all right, hey. Yep. Five seconds. Five seconds five is all I can look at, right? And I can't thing. touch it. I just put everything you tore out back in, so you have five seconds to look over it. Remember, you said oh. power tools. You thought there was DVDs, you ready? CDs. One, Go. two, three. One, zero, two, zero, three, zero, three. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Golf balls is the only thing I see worthwhile. Ah, shit. I don't know. I, I feel like I might have ended up with a, with a turd. I'm just hoping that people online saw the pictures and they feel the same way. And I don't have to end up spending like two or $3,000 for it. There's golf balls, which sucks. Because anytime there's golf stuff, the price goes way high because people think like, oh, there's more golf stuff in there. So I don't know what's gonna happen. All I know is that from what I could see, I wasn't able to, to see and touch at the same time. Hold like on, it. I just wanna see what this looks like walking around right now. <laughs> I <laughs> look like an idiot. Is there a chance that he went to a different warehouse? Marco! How do you melt the rainbow just to keep it? Take that to diesel. <laughs> I already found mine, dude. You found, Hurry up. Did you take your, your no, mask off? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I, that's why I panicked. So here's my strategy. I found Hold a up. lot of clothes. I found one that's like a bowling ball. Um, I found shoes. 
Hey, if you yeah. can walk us back to the pallet right now that you know where the shoes are, and it's not just a pallet away. <laughs> oh, oh, you might just need your wife to come pick you up something because I've got mine. I'm ready to go. Two rows off. I don't know if I'm going to get the clothes though. I wanted to talk to you about strategy. You said we were going to spend an hour. All right, Diesel, you're gonna you're gonna be up against the clock here in a second. Ooh. Hey, that's kind of fun. Guess what this is? Guess what this is? Go. You're taking my time. No, just guess. There's no way you're getting this. Mm. It's a Ferris wheel. Next. Where am I? Where are all the boxes? Is that Ruby Cube? Go, man. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, stop. That's your pallet. Yeah. I'm oh, not yeah. gonna lie, Dave. Sparks, you no, might be in trouble. How are you? Tools? This. How did you get up over here? Is that Legos? Is he just looking? Five, oh, five seconds. seconds. One, two. Oh, okay. yeah. Four, five. Here's my number 120. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Remember, you still have to pay for it. Uh oh. Those ones bring big money because that has power tools. Bottom That's actually hand. hilarious because I was just feeling like super down when I saw him get that pallet because I'm not that stoked on mine. I'll be highly invested in it. But I'm probably going to be able to get mine for 150 bucks and he's probably going to have to be probably two, three grand. It's just when you look online and you see a power tool box yeah. in, a, in a pallet, you think, ooh, maybe there's 10 of those. I didn't find 10 power tools in any of my pallets. I saw about two or three and we made some money on them, but. There's that, there's Ash's new home decor. Oh, was it really a That's barbie jeep? Is that what that was? Yeah. That's a dumb decorative pillow or something my wife would buy. Where's the fertilizer spreader? Right here. It's a barbie, barbie It's a barbie jeep. Oh man, Fertilizer spreader. That. Yep, yep, right there. Fertilizer spreader. Fertilizer spreader? Yeah. Close. I nailed the barbie jeep. It doesn't even look like a jeep. I don't know how you got that. Well, it also doesn't well. look like a fertilizer spreader. I landed on 590, which was, I'm hoping is one of those treasure pallets. I felt some golf balls in the top. Oh, you know okay. the golf ball? Yeah, yeah, golf balls are good. Crazy. Sure, it does go crazy. Everything else looks like shit. So <laughs> I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping I'm only into it maybe 50, 60 bucks. <laughs> and uh, he's probably gonna be into his probably a couple thousand because yeah. I don't know the last time a pallet sold for fifty dollars here, but uh, that's okay. You guys have maybe bad. tomorrow's the day. I'm hoping you have a bad turnout tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm hoping laughs> you will. have a terrible turnout. How does it work? Whoever sells the most stuff or whoever makes the most money. Whoever makes the most money. Oh, and then all your stuff has to get donated and you have to do it in twenty four hours. Hey man, you wanna buy some tools? <laughs> Alright, so hey listen, uh, we'll be online tomorrow. I'll be bidding on 590. I'll spend whatever the high bid takes, and he'll be on 120. And then uh, we'll be here right after the sale to pick it up. Does that work? Thanks for uh, letting us feel around, man. We just uh, went away home from the auction, we just picked out our pallets for the uh, sale tomorrow. And I just realized that we're gonna be on a plane in the morning. Either Bad Boy or Hands or Jim is gonna do the bidding for us. So we wouldn't even know what kind of carnage we're up against. Land. Better ask hands because we asked Jimbo, he'd probably buy five or six different pallets. That's true. I totally forgot about that. It's kind of a scheduling issue, but I guess it'll make things even more interesting when we land tomorrow in Texas and find out how much we paid for each of our pallets. So when we get home from Texas, we're going to pick the pallets up. We're only going there for the day and uh, we'll see what we ended up with. So. This pallet's good. This one's not good. I owe you 65 bucks for the stuff I took from the warehouse. What'd you take? Uh, hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. We just got our pals back to the warehouse, and Alan just gave me $65. And we're gonna find out why he gave it to me because he said, he said I took something from the warehouse. What'd you take? Uh, it was two uh, uh, receiver hitches and just a couple miscellaneous tools. Alan, let me ask you a question. The viewers are very concerned as to how you're gonna be able to finish your compound while you're working here. Okay. Well, so is Alan. <laughs> <laughs> What's, how are you going to do it? Well, for right now, it's to be weekends. But that's all you were doing before. No, well, no, before I came working for you, I was working full time for the probably the last seven months. Where at? No, just working on the mountain for seven months. Oh, oh but you ran out of money. <laughs> yeah. So here's the problem. In order to be able to work on the mountains, just so you guys know, Alan is still fully dedicated to that project. But listen to me right now. If you like Alan's project, and you want to be able to support it, and you want him to be able to finish it, him working here is the best thing that could ever happen. Because why? Because you see him, you hear from him weekly. He has a YouTube channel, and we're hoping that the YouTube channel can help fund the Mountain Fortress Lab, right? Mm -hmm. That's the goal. 
and you guys have done a very good job. So if you haven't yet subscribed, I need you to click the link in my description below, subscribe to Alan's channel, and help him fund the dream project up on the mountain because that's how he's gonna be able to do it. So thanks for the $65, appreciate it. You're welcome, thanks. Are you gonna send anybody to my landscape channel? And how much did I spend on my palette? We spent six twenty-five. Bad boy says we spent six twenty-five. Diesel Dave spent how much? Fifteen hundred. Ooh. Oh, geez. let me guess. So basically, we're literally <laughs> double. I think I spent like fifteen hundred bucks. That was the max I wanted how, to spend. However, yours has a lot bigger items in it. Well, ever since they got to the shop, Hunter's literally been hovering it used over to have. the palette. Look at that guy right there. See, Mr. Hover. That's what we call them. I think it's because something right. like in be this able area. To be your first buyer if you're looking to oh, sell you're looking some to, stuff. Have you looked at my palette yet? Do you use paper towels? <laughs> we have to start the timer. The second you guys Damn stab it. this with your knife, the timer starts. Alec, Alec you stay on him, okay? You're his camera from now on. Get over there. I have a clip from three years ago of you claiming I'm your best friend. Yes. So find that. Find that, that clip. <laughs> three years ago. Good luck. Best friends. We are. Yes. All I'm saying is Eric's audio is better. All right, so listen. He's using my microphone. <laughs> Start the timer. Oh, cool. Uno, dos, tres. Start. Oh. You guys already know. As soon as I bought my palette, I instantly regretted it. Two, three. Shit. 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 Because it looks like one of those palettes is just full of napkins, paper cups. Maybe a couple of like cleaning items. I'm really hoping as we get deeper, the items get better. Let me see what's in here. Come here, Hunter. Oh man. Hmm. I have a drill and impact that is pretty clapped out, and I'm looking for some new ones. Really? You know, you contemplate. I'm gonna pull some more stuff out. I'm not in a real huge hurry. I've got 24 hours. Actually, 23 and probably 57 minutes. minutes. Have a twinkling cluster of rice lights. Are you looking to do the rice lights out of the compound? Benmo, Benmo, right now. Just take them and walk away. I don't know. I'm gonna give you ten bucks. Whoa! Hey, Dave. Whoa! Okay, hold on. Hey, have you made ten bucks yet? Because I have. Hey, hey enjoy, oh, man. I, don't, I, don't, I don't really. Let's bring the ceiling light glass. Whoa! Hold up. Hey, Dave, how much do you think that giant torque wrench is worth? Shut up. $738.57. Jeez. On your blogs, I know you could probably use a really good tool. Ain't nothing better than big dog. I'll tell you what's wrench. not gonna happen right now. You're, you're not gonna come to me and try to sell me product because if you do, you will end up winning this game. So get the fuck. A whole bunch of options. Oh, you know what? Hey, do you ever poop? Occasionally. Does your family poop? Are you guys well, into pooping? Not all of them do. Okay. I think we should. Uh, hey. Listen, man, I got a big stack of screws over there. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Yes! 100 bucks down, David. Go find your kids. Go find your kids. What? It could be an office chair, but I feel like it could also be this a forklift chair. It. Ooh, Jack stands. Yep. Maybe way out. Maybe a brake chamber. This is a globe candle which is probably just gonna go straight to my wife, so let's put a fat zero dollars on that one. What's a Tab S7? This hey, before you even look it up, I'll give it to you for 400 bucks. $400? Tab S7, I bet you is worth $359 on any website. Samsung at Walmart is $500. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. How dare you. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because- You didn't really cry! <laughs> I'll give you- <laughs> I'll now give you $50. Ow! Ow, you going fishing? Yeah. I got bass, love them. Uh, I don't know, uh, those look actually too big for what my wife <laughs> Diesel, we're selling wagon. Yeah. You're the first one with the money. Yeah! The money. I'm a man! <laughs> Alright, I'll send you your screws. Hey, how do you do? Well, grab them now. My friend Benjamin's oh, helping know. me. Well, hold on. Well, first of all, I can't sell that because that has to go on the back. Build Boost Stunt Track. Hans, if you had to use three words to describe my Monster Jam performances, what would it be? Yeah, those are the three words I'd use. Not oh. pathetic, embarrassing, and weak by any means. But Build Boost Stunts, yeah. They ask you how you are, you just have to say.
day that you're fine when you're not really fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, the demolition hammer. Oh my goodness. 480. Jeez, 480, 740, and 330. That's that's all the money right there already. I literally bought a pallet full of household consumable hey, we items. Get GoPros for Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Dude, oh, 135 bucks, right there on Amazon. Damn it, dude, why did I get a box full of, like, toilet paper and, oh, this is not good. Oh, there's a 40 pound dumbbell. 500 bucks. Wax paper liners for your sanitary napkin disposal. Garbage, donate. We got oh, we got a strut. What's this going for? What are you selling this for? Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. Concrete drill. Looky lose. Yeah, but we got cups. Plastic. Yeah. 330. Gee. I think I got a bunch of you knockoff Yeti mini mugs. Ooh, 20 bucks for 40? Yeah. Diaper bag? $39. If you're interested, I'll give it to you for 10 bucks right now. I'm not interested. That's the that's the bad part about this First whole thing. First of all, I'll call JC. <laughs> Second of all, I'll convince her that this is worth $100. Third of all, she'll fall for it. Exactly. <laughs> Ten dollars. Push your price back, back. Okay. Okay. Jet tools. Two hundred sixty-five dollars on Amazon. These lady shoes are worth one hundred and thirty-three dollars. What I'm going to tell you right now is, boy, whatever's in this box can't be worth the literal dog. Will you buy this box for five dollars? I'll give you three. Three dollars for LED lights with the pigtail. I think we're we're around 653 bucks. Actually, we just broke even. Hey, you got a turbo. You got a turbo? Hey, that'd make a great YouTube video for your new truck. The chain in the sack. 150. Ay, ay, ay. 20, 320, 300. Oh, why did I get so many towels and cups? Towels and cups. <laughs> I gotta throw that away. It's a lampshade, bro. It's a fucking lampshade. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here yeah. with the pallet full of awesome stuff. Beep, beep. Is Hunter actually spending money or is he just taking stuff? This is a $200 bill. Yeah, but that's 24 hours that would buy that for 200 bucks. Okay. I hate to tell you this, I hate to break up you guys' little party here. Wait, it's only know, worth what somebody's willing to pay. On. You okay? came over, you were positive, you said I'm here to help. Why are you changing character so are fast? Are you? <laughs> and what we have here is a donation. I think we're just getting to the good stuff, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Dave's palette is full of hard stuff. Mine's full of napkins and soft stuff. That is $236.99. Five <laughs> kilograms. Oh, this is a Ford part. Be, be honest with me. I think I just saw a bunch of cup lids. <laughs> Tell me something that's not a bunch of cup lids. It's not cup, it's not lids. cup lids. You've got the cup too. Damn it! Hey, Cooper's driving. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a rocket 45 pounder. The box even says it's more food containers. Would you find some glass slippers? <laughs> look at the bottom of those. Look at the, look at those. You... There's my guy. That guy's looking for some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what perfect timing. Hey, carnal, necesitas mover? And I'm probably sitting somewhere around $700 range. That could be way off, but I feel like it's right. And my pallet's almost empty. Oh. Alright, what's your Good news. Right oh, look who's here. Yeah, Cooper. I uh, dog ruined our vacuum the other night, well, so. This is where comes some value could be. A full-size Dyson handheld vacuum. $7.99 for the old Dyson vacuum. That just doubled your prop. That just listen, listen. I put this bad hog on KSL right now. Six hundred bucks. What? I'll give you six hundred bucks right now. You give me six hundred dollars right now. I'll give you six hundred bucks right now. Bro, we just got to seven. That moment, please. Yep. Hey, hold on. We just got to seventeen. Oh, what's he doing? No! Yeah, we can borrow this. Hey, hey. Jose, listen. <laughs> you know, dude, tell me it's not another bunch of. Please get these out of my life. I'm down to quite literally four items left that, that appear to be pure trash. Wait, 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 wait. 70 bucks for the Wild Sage Santa Medallion. Fuck! 
Diesel just got a pretty cool nylon rope. It's about $500. Well, I'm down to the point where I gotta get myself amped up about batter spoons. Which... I mean, they're nice. They're, they... What's nice about them is that that this labeling is like engraved, so it's not like a... If I were to call you right now and tell you that I've got a, uh, what is it, a 12, 24, a 36 pack of golf balls, and I'm talking like nice balls. I'm talking like, let me show you real quick one of my balls. And you can embrace... Oh, sh The price just went down. Did you just say like 189? Does your family use cups or back... <laughs> no. Plus the balls. I mean, remember those balls on, on some wet. What, wait, what, 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 what? How much? I'll probably give you a hundred bucks. I don't even know how much. Did you hear that? Did you hear? No, hey, no. Hey, just, hey, 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 hey. Venmo me. Venmo me a hundred bucks and we're, we're straight. You got the balls, you got the tissues, and maybe I'll throw in a bonus. I don't know. Okay. Why is your shirt off? I'm at home, dude. I don't know what. You called me. I didn't know you would be filming anything. <laughs> Punch up I'm gonna be real with you guys. When I bought this box, I thought, okay, there'll be maybe some clothing in here, maybe some valuable items. I've sold roughly $1,400 worth of the stuff. Now, granted, that's not hey. bad, because I paid, shut up. I paid roughly six fifty. dollars call it $700 of the auction fees. I'm in this box, maybe 700 bucks. I made maybe $700. This, I, I, I screwed up, guys. Because I think he made like $700 on one item. Is Brooks a Payless brand, or is that a real brand? Oh, okay, $129. Those are yeah, nice. That's a full pair. So, this is a good example of what your time's worth. I wanted to be done with this. We had 24 hours to sell all this stuff. I also probably got some people that were stoked on like some like quick like, you know, emotional buys. I'll give you 600 bucks right now. Uh, but we're sitting right around 1,700 dollars if my math is correct, and that means we're about a thousand dollars in profit. Depending on what the pawn shop says to Diesel Dave, remember he paid significantly more for his palace. Somewhere around what? 16, 700 bucks. And he's going like right before they close, so they don't, they're not gonna care. They're not gonna take him serious. Oh yeah, they're just gonna, they might not even open the door. Here we are at Cash America Pond. We're gonna try and see if he'll come out and look at our treasures in the truck and hopefully give me some money. Treasures. Yeah, I mean, I got tor torque wrenches, jack stands, bunch of car parts, spools of wire, miscellaneous stuff. Maybe we'll trade for a guitar. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Dave. I'm Dave. You Dave as well? I'm Dave. It should be easy for me. We got turbo, big torque wrench, chains, wire. This is the kind of stuff, guys, you do better selling online. Yeah. Brand new. Brand spanking new. Bummer. I gotta have a receipt on it. Oh yeah. Well, hang on. To it. Hey, thanks, Dave. Yeah. Appreciate no problem, you, buddy. Dave. Pleasure. Thanks yeah. for your time. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, the uh, pawn shop was a bust because. <laughs> I know Heavy D is going to pay me at least 300 bucks for a torque wrench saw design. And by pay me, I mean when I lose, I'm just going to get giving it to him. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And I have your torque wrench. Hi, Matt. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> your husband ordered two pizzas and a torque wrench. It's only 600 bucks. Hey man, two pizzas and a torque wrench. Why is there a No, I'm not buying the damn torpe <laughs> Hard close, the torpedo? Hard torpedo? I'm not I'm not buying the torpedo. Oh! So since there was no money actually transacted, what we do is we put it up for sale at the garage that we get more than hundred bucks. We just lost money. We just gave him two pizzas and we didn't get any money for him. We're forty dollars in the hole. Yeah. More. <laughs> technically we're technically we're in the negative. But this is not bonus. And I owe you, sir. That's as good as money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, Let's go get back out of here. and nurse our wounds. But if we make more money at the garage sale tomorrow, seriously, we'll sell it again. 40 bucks? I'll give you 40 bucks for My man. Making money, man. Making money. So I have all this beautiful wire. You chose these two? These two. You got yourself a deal. All right. And I have the 100. Right. Yeah. yeah cash and shiny. The best I'm going to have to review your footage to find out how much we've made. <laughs> Eric will tell us eventually. Eric, let me know if I won. Hey, good doing business with you, Alex. Well, hey, thanks. See you later. What? Did you see what just came out of Alex's sleeve? The spirit of the West. So Great doing business. Nice meeting you, man. Listen, we're trying to beat it. Dog leash. Oh, Black and red. Hi. Hi, how's Hi. it going? Oh. 
It's been a long day of sales. I'm not kidding. Two thousand five hundred and thirty dollars is what we grossed today. Now we spent fifteen hundred dollars on our pallet, which puts us at about one thousand thirty dollars plus the two guns we traded, which are about three hundred dollars a piece. We made a pretty good profit. But in the meantime, go to Erklands and Olson, get yourself a pallet because I tell you what, it's a good way to make some cheddar.